guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for joining me. I got a box sticking into my foot here. Um, yes, surprise, surprise, two videos in one day. I'm feeling good today, so I wanted to go ahead and show you guys this. I'm really, really enjoying the fact Tarte, and I'm going to talk about something else about Tarte. Tarte is now selling their PR boxes, some of them. They came out with the unicorn one was the first one that had the brushes and it, it had these brushes in it and the, um, the palette that was in it, it had this palette right here. This was the real pretty round one, this one here. I didn't get it. I bought this separately, which was a little pricey. This one is, and I, you may have seen some of the beauty gurus showing you this. It is the Park Avenue Princess box. And a neat little thing, I was showing this to my husband and this little thing started to open up. I'm like, oh, oh my God, what's that? I had it for two days before I noticed there was a drawer here. And look at those. Tell me these are not beautiful. Look at that. And it is just the softest, softest brush you could ever try. We're going to try those out today. And they're very, they're very, very well made. They're very pretty brushes. I love Tarte brushes. Oh my God, that feels so nice. And, oh crap. It worked! My camera has a pause and I, I never knew it. So I paused it so I could run as, I gotta get this box out of here. It's, I have a box of like samples, tons of samples. Anyway, I ran out to get these. These came in the mail today. These are the Sigma 3D HD Precision brushes. Look at that. Is that not the coolest? It's like a very weird, let me see if I can show you the shape. Use my hair as a background. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm out of breath. Woo! You know, I tried the pause button on here before and it didn't work. It just like caused my camera to air out. So I hope you guys enjoyed my video earlier. <sighs> they put so much plastic on stuff, I swear. There we go. And that is the large one. Wow. This is like a foundation kind of stippler brush. I'm going to try this out today. I've been dying to try it out. I just got this. It just came out of the mail today. And I've got a few things to try out. Okay. On to Tarte. Okay. Now. Tarte has always made very good foundations. The reason why I say very good is because they're very known for their health benefits of stuff. Actually, while we're talking about it, I want to go ahead and put a little of this on. I put moisturizer on earlier, but if I don't put moisturizer on within like an hour or so of doing my makeup, I like to spray that on. That's the uh, Rainforest of the Sea spray. Stuff is great. <sighs> Just refreshing and it's got moisturizers in it. I have very dry skin, but I have had a little place in my heart for Tarte, good and bad, because not only are they known for good products, they're known for doing some controversial things, as you see. I ordered the new um, Shape Tape Foundations, I ordered the Hydrating, and I ordered the matte one. It was very difficult. I will tell you, everybody is talking about how bad the dark shade range is, but I will tell you, it's not just the dark, it's the light too. There are a lot of them, but they're not, they're, they're better than some of them. Like this here is, this I have a feeling is gonna be just like the, um, the hydrating one in the shape tape. This is the hybrid gel formula. 
in fair light neutral. This is what they call fair, fair, not just fair, fair light neutral. Okay. Let me get this on here so you can really see. This is what they call fair light neutral, which is not bad, but that for me is a little dark. It's not too bad. I've got a little bit of sun right now, so it's not too, too bad, but not that great either. So I was not real happy when I was ordering mine. And when I ordered mine, I did notice the shade range because I always, I don't just pop it open. You know, the most popular ones are always right there in the front. And, um, those are, those are usually the lighter, light to medium colors that right in the center of the thing, of the tones. But this one also, as you can see from the lid, this one uh, dries and oxidates very bad. It gets that dark. And that is way too dark for me. But I am kind of, I'm mostly the light shade girl. You know, I'm the girl that goes on products and I can look at four or five different foundations here and I have the lightest shade. But, you know, for the longest time in this state, hey, you know, I'm not, I am not prejudiced at all. I have not a prejudiced one in my body. I love everybody equally and I hate most equally too. <laughs> Sorry. Had to be a little sorry. I'm just being sarcastic with that comment. I don't. I, I'm a very loving person, very caring person, and I think everybody should be treated equally. And I believe that everybody should have a shade when it comes to colors because it is not fair. To go into, I could not imagine, well, I could imagine because I go in and I look at foundation and there a lot of times are not a color light enough for me. They're all too dark. I have to buy powder or I have to, you know... Or I've had one or two that actually they're kind of, they're too light, but too, it's hard to explain that the tone is off where it looks just, and I have to be very creative with all my powders and all my bronzers. And, you know, I have a different tone of powder for different things. Um, this one has been, oh, I thought it was sitting right there. Um. Estee Lauder makes a powder, which I have. Here it is. I buy it this way because you save like 10 bucks buying it loose. But I couldn't tell you. I forget what it's called. It is their, here it is. It is their translucent, but it's perfecting press powder. Perfecting press powder in translucent. And it is just, it's pretty. It's it. They say translucent, but they all have... They all have kind of a color. I mean, it brushes on almost, almost translucent. But this helps tone the tanner colors down for me. And it's this is a very moisturizing type powder. I buy it that way because I'm too cheap to buy the, the whole little compact. I don't need it. I just throw it in a little magnetic palette. And they must know we do that because they sell it that way. Anyway, the tart. It just blows my mind what they did. Shape Tape is known to be one of the most popular concealers. You know, and to come out with a product and say you have 10 customers in front of you and you're a cashier. To turn around and wait on one customer and tell the rest of them, screw you and walk out. That's what Tarte's doing. You know, and sadly, I wouldn't want to be an afterthought. And I think that's exactly what they did with the darker skin girls. They said, oh, oh, I'm sorry. We forgot about you. But here, here, here you go. Here you go. Take this. No, that's not how it works. Come on. I just, it's, it's not fair. It really is just totally not fair. You know, and I'd be pissed. Straight up, I would be very, 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 very upset. And, you know, Jackie Ina, I love that girl. 
explained it better than anybody could. And I don't know if you guys heard, but she got an award from the uh, NAACP. That's amazing. A YouTube beauty guru got an award. That is like a federal, you know, that is like, that is getting noticed by pretty much it's like walking down the street and everybody's turning around and going, hey, I know you, <laughs> you know. That is so freaking cool. I'm putting on the, um, my Toshi Lab, the Blur Primer by YSL. I still love this stuff. It's so expensive. I try to make it last, but God, I just want to bathe in it. If you ever are in Sephora, not all of them carry this, but check it out. It has just this really just soft feel to it not and it's not greasy it's just like soft it feels so nice on the skin and it just really helps to kind of blur some of those those little crusty lines that we don't like to be seen you know i wasn't really totally prepared for today because i just got this in my head i have never used the color fx drops in foundation i have been having a problem and i'm going to use this new brush today I have been having a problem with pretty much all my foundations looking like crusty on me and I don't like it. It really just, it's, it sucks. I'm going to put my hair back here in a little ponytail and I'm going to come over here and what foundation do I want to use? I really, the, my all time favorite is this, I love this milk foundation and I bought, I bought a second one. And then I found another foundation and started using it. And the color I use is fair. It's just fair. For some reason, though, this one's going to open, but look at, they're like, to me, this one looks pinker than that one. It does have a lot of pink to it. I don't know. But I am going to take that. And I always put way too much out on this palette. This has been a little dark for me lately too, so I'm just going to put a little tiny bit of something lighter. What do I have here? This is uh, uh, the BH, BH Cosmetics. I'm going to put just a half a little squirt, not even, oh, it's not coming out. There we go. Just put kind of a little, about that much on there. It does not want to come out. There it goes. I think I put too much that time. And the reason why I'm lightening it a little more is because these have kind of a, I'm using this one here. This is Moonlight and it's got kind of a, kind of a yellowy tone to it. And I'm not going to use a whole lot of this because I've heard a little goes a long way. I'm going to put, I'm going to put one drop. No, I'll put two drops. For now, that may even be too much. And I'm going to come in, I'm just going to use my finger to mix it. That's what I've got in here. I've got the BH Cosmetics and the Milk Makeup, and I'm mixing them together. Oh, that is pretty. Look at that. That just gave it kind of a glow. Do I dare put another one? I'm going to put one more little, little dot in there, because as I mix it, I notice that it's blending out. That didn't want to come out. There we go. I put a, a drop and a half. How about that? Oh, I think I, well, I can always add more. So that is pretty. Look at, that is what I came up with there. It's got a sheen to it. Let me, I want to try this new brush. I'm going to brush it, wipe it right onto there with my finger. And I'm going to come in here and let's see what we do. Oh, I, that went a little too light. It's all right. I can bronze it up. I would rather it be too light than too dark. Never fails. Well, I don't know. If I'd rather bronze something up. You know, I think this actually lightened it. But I'm loving this brush. You can use this brush to wipe and you can stipple with it. And that's nice. This is from Sigma and I believe it was, I think it was $18. Can't remember. Off hand, 
but you can look on Sigma.com. Look at that. It's just giving a pretty, it's giving a pretty finish to this. I love this foundation, but the one thing I don't like about any foundation lately on me is my skin is so dry. That is oxidizing a little darker, which that is very common with the um, milk. And it took away some of the coverage, but that's okay. I mainly use foundation to even out my tone. You know, take some of that red away. Now I'm going to put a lot on my eyes. I did get a pink a paint pot. I have never used the MAC paint pot. I have used the NYX one. I've used every one. But MAC, I couldn't afford it. And I... I found a lady, well, I know this lady, that she deals a lot of, she's a makeup artist and she deals a lot in makeup. And she gets her, she gets her 40% off, you know, that you get with the pro and passes it all along to people, which is so awesome. Because I don't, I don't buy enough makeup to really constitute that. So look at I am loving this. I don't know if you guys can see this, but I am just loving the glow to my skin with this. It's not giving me that crusty look. I am going to use this all the time. Matter of fact, I am going to order one of these. I wish. I think I missed it, but at Christmas time, you could get the little kit with them, I think, where they had like three or four colors. They were little minis, which... A lot of the time you find on um, Sephora, you know, where you can use your points to buy little, the Dulux Minis. I think that is how I got this one, to be honest with you. I think it was one of those deals. And I mixed just enough foundation. I hate that. The way I have to get my nose, because the this part of my nose right here hangs lower. So I always want to make sure to get foundation on it so it looks even. That is, it's a high, I would call it a high medium, because I can see this little, that little freckle right there. And I can see a few other ones to my skin, but that's okay. We're good. It just gave a really pretty finish. I am loving this. What do you guys think? I always lean... You guys are new to my videos you know this is studio lighting which i had to change my bulb and this bulb is crap so you're getting more light from here that's why you see me using this a lot more lately i have ordered a couple of bulbs we'll see how they do when they come in i am going to god i almost don't even want to put powder on this i feel like i have to because it's it's just so shiny but it's like it's like healthy shiny. I'm going to I'm gonna I'm gonna lightly I'm gonna go in with the Patrick Star powder as usual. I'm gonna use one of these new brushes. I am dying. I'm gonna use one of these new tart brushes. And I'm gonna go in with the Patrick Star powder. Just kind of dip it in there. And as always, I'm gonna dab the outer perimeter of my face. And if you're new to watching me, uh, I do this because on aged skin, you do not want to go heavy. You do not. You do not want to bake. I have areas of my skin that, like my cheeks, and I have to be very careful around my mouth. This area right here on my mouth, I don't like to do real heavy. But my upper and lower... This area I do do heavy and around my nose because I miss that I mess my foundation up all the time. And if you see, I I did it heavier around the perimeter, and then you want to kind of brush it in. Now my girls that wear eyeglasses all the time, I'm going to show you a little trick. Okay, this is what I do with my powder. Now you will see me do this a lot. Let me get in there. I'm going to go straight in. You see, I've got a nice heavy bit, and I'm going to dab. 
I'm gonna dab on my right here and right here you don't want to don't go up into here because you're gonna age the heck out of yourself but you want to dab right here and right here and on each side and right in the middle and you want to press that usually I press it in with a beauty blender I don't have one in front of me right now not a clean damp one but I'm pressing it in with this this brush is great for that I'm pressing in that powder I'll get a little more right here see what I'm doing I'm pressing that into the skin I also like to do that around my mouth I'm pressing that into the skin like that and I'm gonna leave that I'm gonna leave that while I do the rest of my face now if you pay attention when I get to my bronzer and everything I will I will show you what we're gonna do now I have been wanting to I want to do a little different eye look what do you think we should do I want to do something a little jazzy but I don't want to be too fancy I want some shine I want some shimmer and shine where did I put those oh don't tell me I misplaced that I will be so I will be mad 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 you will see a mad girl right here that new that new tart uh, finger paints I don't think I've used it this I don't know if I've used this on my channel oh my god oh, look at these these are beautiful tell me that is not gorgeous and they already like the glitter one it, it has a little bit of moisture to it these are hot 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 all right let's get this out of the way this brush is amazing. I will tell you, this is a 10 out of 10. I definitely, definitely suggest you try it. That is a beautiful brush. I got the concealer brush, which I did not use. But, I mean, look at that. You can fit that right in there. Right around. Right around here. Oh, yes, 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 baby. Just kind of, I'm running it right. I got a couple of little creases, and I'll tell you, this is nice. Now that all the powder's kind of relaxed and everything, I'm just lightly going under my eye where I had a couple little creases. I'm getting that out of there. Didn't really pick up any product. Not really. Just a tiny bit. I'll give you that. Um... I am dying to try this. This is the paint pot in soft okra. Let me find a good brush to use this. I've noticed that um, I've noticed that most people use them on a flat brush. I've seen a few people use different types of brushes. I'm trying to find a clean flat brush. I don't use a lot of flat brushes. Oh, there's my other pencil brush. One of my favorite brushes is a pencil brush. You see, you guys see me use it a lot. That little tight brush that I use under my eye. I think this is going to be a nice brush to use. This is a Morphe brush. I'm going to try to use this one. Just going to go ahead and go in. Now, with hooded eyes, you really want something like this. I think I think I might have been more comfortable using my hand with this, to be honest. But I've already got it on. Now, with hooded eyes, you want to make sure... I'm going to use my finger. Forget that. You want to make sure... I'm going to go ahead and get it up in here. I didn't use any concealer. I'm going to blend it all the way up. Leaving it a little heavier on the actual lid. I'm not worried too much about the color. As I'm worried more about it helping my eyeshadow stick. You can see the difference there really makes that top lid stick out because you've given it a lighter base to work with. I do like the brush right up against the, um, the lashes, but now as far as the rest of it, I am really just liking my finger because the warmth of your finger is really helping to get this blended in. You want to make sure don't pull too much on your eyes. You do not want to 
you really don't want to pull on the elasticity of your skin at all because that will really help to prematurely age the skin and we don't want to do that i'm going to wipe this brush off and i'm just going to kind of use what the little bit left on the brush to pat that around the lash line and just kind of even it up i don't want need a little bit more right there I'm wanting a little bit more right here on the inner third because I'm going to be using a a light color shimmer there and anytime you can use a lighter color base with a shimmer it just really helps that pop okay there we go now should I set it I'm gonna go ahead and set this I'm just gonna use a light translucent powder to it <clears throat> not really sure I wonder how I somebody told me you can also set these with a um like a shimmer powder or a a light highlight like kind of a natural light colored highlight but I'm not going to get too brave with that I'm just dabbing that translucent. I'm using RCMA translucent powder just to dab that in. I'm using that because it's it's near near colorless and I don't want to bring that pinky color to the that MAC Patrick Star powder. It has that little bit of pink to it and I don't want to bring that in right now. So I'm just gonna and I'm doing it very light. There we go. And as usual, I have a big pile of powder in front of me. I waste so much powder. Somebody asked me about my um, backdrops. This is just a gold back glitter backdrop that I got off of eBay. It came out of China, and I paid, I believe, $6 for it. And they gave me free shipping. So that was that. Um, I don't think I'm going to need powder on my eyelids. I am going to wipe my lips off. Some people like to use a foundation base on their lips. I can't stand it. Because on me it just cakes up in those corners and looks terrible all day, I think. I think it's very dry and icky. I'm really liking the finish to this. You know, without even doing anything on it, I, I've got that powder still sitting for the, the, eye, the eyeglasses, but that is it. Okay, um, what am I going to do here? I need a, I just want a light, I think I'm going to use this color here. I'm going to go into the MAC Quad. I don't use these a lot. It just, I try to use more inexpensive makeups. You know what, actually, let's go, I haven't pulled this out in a while. I'm going to pull out the uh, 39A Dare to Create from MAC, uh, from MAC, <laughs> from Morphe. I'm going to go in there and I'm just going to grab me a nice fluffy brush, the one I always use. It came in a set and it doesn't have a number. I wish they numbered all the ones in the sets and they don't. I do want to get the... Uh, Jaclyn Hill set because they do it they're on they are numbered I'm gonna go in right here to this first color because this is a little too warm I think I'm gonna stay a little cooler down here and I'm just gonna lay that right up here sorry my camera had a little warning come up I think it's overheating I hope not my batteries tend to do that there we go I'm just gonna lay that on just to kind of give me a frame to my eye. I like to bring it, if you ever watch how I do this, I come across here and then sweep up. And the reason why I do that is to help give my eye a little shape. I come across like that and then at the tail, I always draw the tail up a tiny bit. And just one more time in here. Get these nice and even. 
you want the tail to come up right where your um, the end of your eyebrow is and what that does is that that pulls that eye up when you have hooded eyes you have to be very creative unfortunately to try to keep anything from happening where it looks like your eye droops and anytime you can pull a line vertical like that it does help that and you don't want to do too heavy around the eye you start doing too heavy around the eye especially on the inner corner here you want that to stay real light if you notice i tend to use very light shimmers on this inner third right here and the reason for that is i want that part of the mobile lid to really pop and stand out and i'll even darken this corner down underneath here a little bit to set that back and by setting that back i'm pushing this side even more forward <clears throat> you really just want to sit and look at your eyes grab a grab a, a makeup palette uh grab something neutral is the easiest way to do grab a few neutral colors and just start kind of playing with it kind of playing on stacking them together and what colors look better with what what colors look better on your eyes and you learn you learn a lot about yourself get up close and personal let's see here i'm gonna go just a i want to go a little darker in these corners i don't want to go too dark and i don't want to go too warm so i'm gonna go here this is a little kind of a little warmer than i want but i want to darken this i just want to darken right here up ever so lightly if you see i'm using a very light stroke and i'm just getting product right on the very tips of these bristles you don't even have to you don't even have to tap it off nothing's going to really come off because i didn't really touch it and i'm going very light you can see very light circular motions right there and right up here i'm just kind of coming up I'm just wanting to help frame that eye a little better right there. There we go. But I don't want to take away from that upturned little thing I got going on here. There we go. Kind of doing an oval right here in the corner. And ending that oval with an upturn. Just doing very light. I'm not doing real heavy eyeshadow today. I'm not really I'm not going out too much. I'm just gonna run a couple errands. Oh my gosh, what is today? I have a doctor's appointment today. Uh, seems like every time I'm on here, I have a doctor's appointment. I totally forgot about this one. Oh, there we go. You can kind of see what I'm doing. It's a little warmer than I thought I was going for, but it's okay. I'm going to go in and use this exact same brush that I was using for the paint pot, and I'm going to come into this finger paint. It's the uh, Foil Finger Paints from Tarte. Let me see what I'm going to do. I'm going to come into this Gold Coast color. I'm going to do my inner corner first. I don't like it on a brush. I'm going to use my finger. And I'm just tapping. I came all the way into the very, very corner. Into that very, very corner. And I'm laying my finger down and pulling outward. That way you don't wind up getting it all underneath here. Get it on your finger, lay it down, and pull it out. There we go. That is so pretty. Now I always pull it down in, in the front, right along here. Just giving a pretty, like foiled kind of sheen color. I'm gonna come into this darker color and I'm going to just dab this on this outer corner and up towards the top part of the outer corner. That one I'm going to rub a little bit because I'm going to lay my finger and rub up right above the other color. 
and tap, 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 and then up and rub it above it. Hard to get up in that little area. I'm going to try this brush again. I'm just going to tap it on there. Let's see. There we go. It works way better with your fingers, but when you're doing this kind of area, to get in there is not very easy. I'm hoping with most creamier type eyeshadows that this is going to really stay a lot better because with hooded eyes as you know everything winds up winds up being blended together by the time you're done there we go just kind of giving this is kind of going to be a more of a natural look with a lot of shine to it we'll blend that one right on blend this one right on in there into the other color. I always keep a little towel here in front of me, a little towelette, so I can wipe my fingers off because I am forever using my fingers for everything. All right, now I want a nice tight, I think this is like an eyeliner brush, or you, some people use these for um, brows. I'm gonna use this and I'm gonna come into, hmm, oh, what is that on my eye? Oh my goodness, I got some. Uh, uh, I wiped my eye after I touched that little towel and got a piece of lint stuck to my eye. That, uh, it's not coming off. There we go. There we go. You didn't tell me it was there. <laughs> I'm going to come with this brush into this darker color here and I'm going to tap it on the sides of there. Let me sit this down. I'm going to pick up some product just by tapping it and I'm going to tap it off onto my hand a little bit just so I make sure I don't have too much oh, it's working real good now I'm going to go straight across it to get it right on the end of those bristles because I want to come right up against that lash line that is so pretty and I'm going to do a little wing with this that is a cute little wing isn't it do the same thing over here. Just gonna come along. See if I can get that wing even. Now with hooded eyes, you can w use a wing. You can do your liners with a little wing. I suggest line it up with the bottom, and then come straight down like that. So I'll give you a little, a little bit. Now, with hooded eyes, I don't think they look great with very dark black liners. Now, something like this, this is kind of a taupey kind of color. I think it's very pretty. Oh, I messed up right there. I'm going to brush that out a little bit. Mm -hmm. I'm going to come in and clean that up now. Now, if you mess up, don't worry because you can always come in and fix it. Now with a shadow like this, I'm just using it, my little towel down here, and I'm coming in and wiping it off. Just kind of lining it back up. This one came out so pretty and this one came out so messed up. Let me see if I can fix it. There we go. I had to actually remove it completely and start over. It's still there. I'm going to go ahead and clean that off. It's not coming off the way I want it to. Now if it gets too bad, you can actually take some uh, concealer and clean it, clean it off. Or you can take your, I'm trying to find the brush that I used for my foundation. I have a huge container of brushes over here and I never can find what I want. I used to say all the time that there's never too many brushes, but I have to take that back. I can't find the one I was using. So I'm just going to, this kind of had the same color. I'm just cleaning that off and I'm going to start over. I'm going to find that brush though. Let me see if I can find it. All right, guys. You get to see my pajamas. 
Oh, yes, I'm being silly. My big old fat belly and my pajamas. Okay, I'm going to try this over again. This side came out perfect, and I'm just not liking this other side. This side is so hooded. Now, when you're doing this, you have to relax, and I'm so bad about that. I can't talk when I'm doing this. See how, see how this wing sits perfect in there, and this one is so hooded right there, it's hard to... Let me try this again. Let me see if I can get in there. Kind of lay it out with my eye relaxed, and then I come in and kind of... I know they say don't pull in your eyes, but to get that eye, that's about the only way I can do it. They're not perfect, but if I was perfect, you wouldn't be watching me. I wouldn't be doing YouTube. Good enough. It's not coming out real, real even, but that's all right. Now I'm going to come in here and just kind of blend that corner up. There is a little bit of fallout off this, not a lot, just a tiny bit. I don't know why. Hooded eyes have got to be the hardest to do a liner on. They really are. There we go. I like to have the bottom part of the line nice and straight and thicker. And then the top, I kind of blend it off. Now, hmm, I'm going to come in with the lighter color that I used on the inner. And I'm going to do the same thing that I did on the top on the bottom. I'm going to come across. I'm just going to get product on one side. I'm going to lay that right up against my corner and just drag that over. That's so pretty. Same thing on this side, except for I got the wrong side of the brush, corner, and you're just going to come along. These colors are just so beautiful. If you work slow with them, they're very nice, and they're very forgiving. You don't want to come in too heavy-handed, because it is a heavier shadow oh i don't like that and you wind up with little see little crumblies like that i went a little heavy what i did is i just dipped my pinky in and came in here and dipped it in that corner so i wanted a little heavier right there there we go i wanted a little more of a foil look to that corner gonna have to clean this one up a little bit just like I did the other one there we go now also if you come in just just a tiny bit more inside off of your lid you can actually make your eyes appear to be wider we do it on this side and then you see where I'm talking about right in here right along here and it just kind of gives some width to your eyes right there I love doing that. Oh, there we go. I'm kind of wanting to put a little color with this, but I don't know. I always want to put color with something. I always make sure to pat this in after I've done that because it does leave those little like chunk marks. So I just take my finger and kind of pat it and roll, pat it and roll. Different finger, of course pat it and roll and that keeps that keeps it from flaking up this shadow is amazing it is so beautiful it is well worth it um i thought tart was going to be a little better with their their game here but they kind of they kind of really blew it with a lot of people with what they did with that foundation you know um i did as i said earlier i ordered the foundation I probably am not even going to open it. I'm probably just going to send it right back. I don't support anything like that. I wouldn't put my name behind it. Not that my name's some big, you know, to do, but <laughs> anyway. All right, let's come in here. Oh, I wanted to show you this. This is very, I think these are the same or very close. This is the, um, 
Park Avenue Princess. This is the chrome well, paint pots. I think it's what these are actually called. Yep, chrome paint shadow pots. And this is in Park Avenue Princess. Look at, is that not beautiful? I believe it's the exact same that we just worked with. These are gorgeous foils. Look at that. That is beautiful. If, and you get a ton. There is a ton of product in there. It does not take much at all. Honestly, you will probably end up throwing this out before you use it all. It is good for 12 months. If you don't know, if you look on the back of any product and you see, let me see if I can find a large enough one to show you. That doesn't have it. Um, right here, you'll see a jar with a little lid up and a number inside of there. This one has 18. That means this product, once you open it, is good for 18 months. That is the um, Too Faced Diamond Light. That's the new highlighter. You know, let's try that out because I'll do a little highlight pop with this. I was going to do a little color, but I don't think I'm going to. I am going to pop just a little bit of brown in that waterline. Actually, you know what? Let's try this color right here. I want to try this one or this. Let me see. This is, oh, this is pretty. This is a little lighter. This is called Trick. It's a 24 7 liner. Just going to pop that in there. Oh, that is pretty. It's a little darker than, um, but it's lighter than what's on the outer. Just kind of opened my eyes up a little bit there. I'm not real big on using lighter colors there. I tend to gravitate more like to this here, which I'm going to come on the very, very outer corner, the outer third, and I'm just going to darken just a tiny bit up right there. And I'm coming more into the lash line than anything and just kind of kind of keeping in that dark little drawn out cat eye type look right there let's go ahead let me go ahead and do my brows give me just a second and I'll be right back there we go you guys have seen me do my brows 110 times so I figured I'll just go ahead and do that and I've dropped my Brow pencil, and look at what I found in the meantime. Just got to kind of brush these guys up a little bit. I did basically do them. I didn't finish them. I figured I would finish them with you guys right here. Oh, goodness gracious. I'm not liking that little corner there. I'm loving this little brush right here just for little areas like this to clean up. Wow. Talk about nice. These are, these are excellent and like I said this is the uh, concealer one and this is the foundation one and they are a mul um, a dual fiber which is just amazing and you can really get in there and stipple with this and you can get every bit of product see how that's just very evenly stippling that and you can brush it and it's not very streaky I have a hard time with brushes being very streaky and that one I will tell you is not uh, okay there we go I am covered <laughs> let me just grab a little bit of water I have I keep water in most of my um, my finishing spray bottles I do need to change over my um, I love that rainforest of the sea this this um the setting spray but i hate the sprayer this is the this is like the exact dupe for this stuff this is 58 dollars. this i think was 32 or 28 one of the two and look at the size i mean that's crazy that's insane so what i'm going to do is put this into this bottle because <laughs> i like the sprayer much better on that bottle actually you know what let's do that right quick this thing is just uh, it's not doing it right this second, but it was it was leaving blobs on my face yesterday because I use my finishing sprays pretty much all throughout the day. Okay, that filled that, and this is this is about that full still. 
after filling this one completely to the top and I've used I've been using this one for about about a week two no about two weeks so I've used about a quarter of it maybe a third probably a third of it quarter to third Thanks. but um I just I like this sprayer so much better not ready for finishing spray yet because we're going to dive in here let's get this guy out this is the park avenue princess chisel kit and it is just beautiful it's got a little bit for everybody which i don't understand because tart you know they're good about making the rest of their stuff for everybody why not why not the foundation i'm going to use the this is this is the blush brush i guess i'm not sure i don't really tell you other oh, angle this one is angled very pretty i'm gonna use this to contour and i'm gonna go into i can't really see going actually you know what let me use the white powder i'm just gonna go ahead under my eyes i'm gonna go in with enhance and hollow in between both and i'm just gonna kind of pat that on now remember, I have the powder on from earlier. That's when you're gonna go ahead and sweep that away. That was the powder that you used to kind of help set for wearing um, glasses all day. Just gonna wipe the corners on my mouth hat again. Ah, not really liking that brush. I'm gonna go with this angle brush and try this. That first one, there we go. That's much better. The first one was a little too stiff for me for under the eyes. I'm just going to kind of brighten up a little bit. I like the lighter one. The first one is more pinky tone, and this one's more of a yellow tone. I like that yellow tone. I'm just going to kind of give me a few little highlights with that. There we go. Just highlight right on here. Probably will go back in with that. Get that rid of that. Don't think we're going to need it. I'm going to go first. I'm going to go into Princess Cut, which is the lightest. This one's before it, but it is a little bit darker, and that's a shimmer. And the very last one, Crown, is a shimmer. These two are matte. I'm going to go into Princess Cut. And I'm just going to... Oh, that is... Look at that is pretty. I'm going to kind of bronze and uh, contour with that all in one little shot wow what i'm doing is taking it right along here and i got the bulk of the product you can kind of see on the bottom part and i'm coming in like this right in that hollow of my cheek do the same thing over here look oh my god that is beautiful it's like that color was meant to be for me i have such a hard time with um with contour colors and with um with bronzers because they always make they look so muddy on me this does not this is gorgeous look at that that is freaking beautiful which beautiful in my face i don't use too well too often together you know i think everybody has they call it body dysmorphia now as I was growing up, we just called it, we called it insecure. <laughs> it's amazing how they changed everything. We called it insecure when I was growing up. And just, you know, I've always been like that. I've always been a very unstable as far as weight. Sometimes I would be heavy. Sometimes I would thin out. I, you never could tell from one week to another what my weight would be. And I found out that it has a lot to do with gastroparesis. I probably, they said, had this for at least 20 years. And it never had a name. Gonna hollow out. I love to go right along here. And what that does is just pulls that chin right on up. See that? I hate that. <laughs> Darken him up. Anything you don't want to really notice. You see how that kind of disappeared? That one's still kind of there. What I did was I gave myself a better jawline. And you do that with shadowing. 
the best way I can suggest for you to do this is to come in to a nice bright room with a nice comfortable mirror in front of you or in the bathroom get you a you don't have to get a real expensive palette like this you can get um bh cosmetics makes one you can even get like a nyx i'm trying to find i have a ton of them laying around here and they're not right in front of me right now you can even use a darker foundation one that's a little too dark for you um one of the things I like to contour with is a little sample of Anastasia Beverly Hills foundation in the color Fawn. And it's really, really cool. But look at, I'm like, I'm so ecstatic. Look at that. It's so pretty. I'm going to come with this smaller brush and I'm going to come into that first color, that more pinky tone color. I'm going to get a nice little chunk on my brush and I'm going to, actually, I'm going to go in the, net, the lighter, the the second one that pink tone was not doing it and what I'm doing is I'm see I'm cutting that cheek cutting that cheek back out right there not only do you um, contour with shadows you also contour with light you take your light shadows and see how I brought I put that dented that in dented. I made this recess in and then I'm bringing this out and what that's doing is it's emphasizing that jawline that I did right there. Just kind of helping that to highlight it a little bit. You don't even have to draw. You don't even have to really knock off your brush. You get a nice amount of product. I start right here in front of my ear and just drag that down. See that? You can see it better on this side. Do the same right here along the cheek. And you can do it right along here now if you have a larger forehead like I do you don't want to go up way high you want to just come right here it's almost like a you know how you used to draw seagulls when you were a kid draw the little beak in the wing beak in the wing I'm gonna have you guys just talking funny to yourself when you put on your makeup I hope you guys think about me when you do your makeup even more than that I hope you guys sit and do your makeup with me that would be so cool there we go. Just gonna go back with this. No product on it. Tap it off here to even be sure. What I like to do is just, I'm just going along the darker parts just to cut it in a little more into your hairline. There we go. And that is it. Just pull your hair down, throw on some lip gloss. I'm not really sure what lip product I'm gonna use. Actually, you know what, let's grab this. This is the Nicki Minaj. This is pink print. I wear this all the time. I love this color. And that 